In 2021, Russia introduced the Su-75 Checkmate fighter aircraft. It was presented as a game-changing technology. The MAX Air Show near Moscow featured the unveiling of a single-engine aircraft that looked sleek and stealthy. Russian state media promoted it as a budget stealth fighter, a lighter alternative to the twin-engine Su-57 and a direct competitor to the American F-35. The Su-75 was expected to push Russia to the forefront of global military aviation with a projected unit cost of $25 to $30 million. It was also marketed as modular, with potential drone variants and export appeal in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. However, in just four years, the program has nearly vanished from public view. The silence around the Su-75 is unusual in Russia, where defense projects are normally promoted heavily. This raises a question. Has Russia's economic and industrial reality already ended the checkmate? Or is the project simply waiting for the right political and technical moment to return? Sukhoi, a subsidiary of the United Aircraft Corporation of Russia, developed the Su-75 as a lighter, export-friendly alternative to the Su-57 Felon. The Su-75 used a single engine with existing Russian technology. By contrast, the Su-57 is more expensive and uses twin engines. To save costs, the Su-75 reused avionics, engines, and radar concepts from the Su-57. The aircraft was described as stealthy, supersonic, and versatile. It was expected to reach speeds up to Mach 1.8, have a combat radius of 1,500 kilometers, and carry 7,400 kilograms of weapons. Russia's defense industry also claimed it had an open architecture design, allowing modular upgrades and cheaper maintenance. Export was the main goal. India, Vietnam, Argentina, several Middle Eastern states, and African countries were mentioned as possible customers. These nations could not afford or easily obtain the F-35. Russian officials even discussed future unmanned and two-seat versions of the aircraft. At the time of its launch, the Su-75 seemed to reflect Russia's goal of challenging Western aerospace dominance, but at lower costs than programs like the F-35. From the beginning, credibility was a problem. The first flight was promised for 2023, with production in 2026. Later, the flight was delayed to 2024, and then to 2025. Now, even Russian sources admit production is unlikely before 2030. Russian media claim that prototypes are planned at the komsomolsk Mora aircraft plant. One prototype is meant for static ground tests and another for flight trials. But no prototype has been shown, and there are no photos or videos of a Su-75 in flight. This lack of progress is striking. When the F-35 was revealed, prototypes soon followed. China's J-20 and J-31 also moved quickly from mock-up to visible test flights. By contrast, the Su-75 has remained stuck as a mock-up for four years. The key question is simple. Why the silence? The Su-75's absence from Russian headlines is not accidental. It results from overlapping problems. Sanctions and industrial strain are at the core. High-end semiconductors, composites, and specialized machine tools are essential for stealth aircraft. These items are now difficult to obtain due to Western restrictions. As a result, many critical projects have slowed or stalled, even though Russian officials insist domestic replacements are possible. Another factor is the war in Ukraine. Russia has shifted resources to drones, artillery shells, tanks, and missiles that can be used immediately. Experimental fighters like the Su-75 are not a priority because they cannot affect the battlefield now. Budget constraints add to the problem. Designing a new stealth fighter costs enormous sums. Even the United States and China face overruns with larger economies. For Russia, under war costs, defense subsidies, and inflation, the Su-75 has become politically and financially risky. Once a showpiece project, it now risks being seen as a burden. 
Russia's media strategy also plays a role. Successful projects like Su-57 deliveries or missile tests are promoted heavily. Struggling projects like the Su-75 are quietly sidelined to avoid negative attention. The silence is therefore deliberate, not accidental. One of the few new developments is Belarus. In 2025, Belarus claimed close cooperation with Russia on the Su-75. This included talks of joint production. Belarus might even become one of the first foreign operators. But Belarus has little aerospace industry. Its role is likely symbolic, showing international support rather than providing real capacity. If the Su-75 advances, Belarus could host final assembly lines for export versions, but that is uncertain. Conflicting stories continue. Rostec and UAC say engines, avionics, and radar are in advanced stages. They claim foreign interest is strong, especially in Africa and the Middle East. They also suggest drone and two-seat variants are under development. Independent analysts disagree. They argue the Su-75 is frozen or even doomed. They point out that no prototype exists, no export contracts are signed, and no credible evidence supports the official optimism. Some believe the Su-75 is mostly propaganda, meant to project power and image, even if it never takes flight. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.